So today we're going to be going to the uh, woods. We're going to be um, working on pistol drills, uh, rifle drills. What are you training for? People may try to come and um, take what you got. So we want to be able to uh, protect what we have or to move and make contact with the threats and um, um, take out the bad guys. Precisely who the enemy is ranges from Black Lives Matter and anti-fascists to any Democrat who wants gun control. Lord knows what's going to happen uh, November 4th if, uh, you know, when people wake up and Donald Trump has been elected president, the left is going to um, absolutely lose their minds. Cities are going to burn. And what happens if it goes the other way? I hope the silent majority would rise up and uh, you know, stand against um, uh, a uh, Biden uh, presidency, if, especially if there's an allegation of fraud. If on election night there's no clear result and neither Trump nor Biden concedes, these militias are expecting to be out on the streets and you can see how things might go wrong. Um, what is your goal? The protection of the black race, the policing of the black race, the education of weapons of the black race. We want a seat at the table in the UN too. We want to have someone that gets upset when one of us is brutalized. We don't want prayers and we don't want, we want another country, even if it's one that we build. Do you think that the anti-racist protest, the Black Lives Matter movement, do you think that is a sort of a, a naive way to try and bring about change? I would not say it's naive. I would say that it satisfies the definition of insanity, doing the same thing over and over again and expecting a different result. And they can continue to do what they want to do. They haven't achieved anything yet. If they had, we wouldn't exist. Do you think African Americans should be arming themselves now? There are 432 million guns in this country right now. That means there's more guns here than there are people. Should they be arming themselves? They've already armed themselves. The question then becomes, how do we equalize the playing field? Then we, too, have armed ourselves. We're meeting power with power. 